Are you looking to write your journal but don't know what apps to use? You want to see the apps that I'm using on my PC as well as my mobile to write my journal? It's a simple apps to use and highly customizable. Interested? Let's jump right into my computer and I'll show you what apps I'm using. Now, what you're seeing right now is Microsoft OneNote. Yes, you are right. It is Microsoft OneNote. I'm using Microsoft OneNote to write my journal starting this year. I used many different apps before to write my journal. And this year, I decided to switch over to OneNote. Now, later I'll show you other apps. It is very useful and highly customizable as well, but it's not so easy to use. And as of this year, I decided to make things simple. I just want to use OneNote so that I can consolidate all my journal into one place and I can archive it when the year is over. Let me show you how I use this on OneNote. Okay, now you can see here right now, now this is here starting January and all this 0101 means that January 1st. So each of these is one page of my journal. So right now, let's say I create a new page. A new page would look something like this. Okay, so right now let's assume it's going to be like uh, January 10. Then I'm going to start putting here. And these are some of the prompt, important things that I want to build. Okay, now if you're interested, just leave a comment. Next time I'll record a separate videos to explain about this. So here, these are a few key prompts, right? Like one, two, three, four that I write, right? So something that I started with gratitude, right? What I'm thankful for. So basically I'll come right down here. I will just type, yeah? And what will make today's great? What's my intention? So set my intention beginning of the day. So I just type in here, then what's my thoughts? So I throw it all my thoughts and I put it right into my journal so that it doesn't bore me or have, so eliminate all my overthinking, yeah? And then what did I learn, right? What did I learn? Uh, yesterday and this week, anything that I learned, I just put it right over here. And then if I want to have any extra stuff, I can put it in my notes. Yeah. So I can put it in the notes. I can write some more. Yeah. It's very simple. Now, these are the prompts that I use, right? So my, basically my journal session is like maybe 10 minutes. It's a very short session, right? Beginning of the day, I just put it right down here and then I will go on to go and plan my day, right? So what are the things I'm going to do? Now, if you have not watched how I plan my day, you can watch this video right over here, right? What are the tools that I use to plan my day as well as how do I do it, right? You can see here, this is a customized template that I already created for myself. So that is why every time I just click here, the plus sign, it automatically will come up with this particular new template so that I don't have to go and redesign, do anything at all. And if you're interested to learn how to create this template, just leave a comment right below so that I can create another video to teach you how to use OneNote to create a page template. Now, by the way, OneNote is a super powerful tool that you can use together with your teams, right? To improve your productivity. So if you're interested to learn how to improve your work, to grow your career, Remember to subscribe to this channel because I share tips to help you improve your work productivity so that we all can become a good leaders. In this page here, this is the design. You can design any way you like using the Microsoft OneNote page template. Uh, let me jump into another app, just show you a glimpse of it that I used it before. It's called Notion. Anyone use Notion right now? If yes, just leave a comment right below so that I know how many of you are using Notion. It is a very powerful productivity tool as well. And I love to use that, but it's a little bit complicated than this one note. All right, now what you see right now is my journal in 2022, right? You can see that even in December, I'm still using it. It's beautiful, right? So and the same thing here, you can click here, new. Come on. All right, so now you can see, you can key in the title of your journal and then you want journal template. You click here, all my prompts will come out, okay? Now, I, I love to use that, but it's only that it's going to be difficult for you to set up if you're beginners, right? Or you never used Notion before. 
And I've stopped using it because it's difficult for me to compile. What I want is I want to compile all my journals and then every year I can just export it into a PDF file. Then I can archive it so that I can print it out or I just put it in as a PDF file. Then I can refer or read it back when the year ends, right? But Notion is like a database. It's a little bit difficult. It's nice, easy to key in, but it's difficult for me to archive. Maybe I do not know how to do it. So I decided to simplify the things I do and then use OneNote. Now I hope this will show you pictures, a glimpse of how do I, of what apps do I use to keep my journal? Now, I love to write journal because it helps me to set my intention right. It's just 10 minutes a day. Try writing it and you will see the improvement in your work productivity. Now, if you do not know what prompts, prompts is the question that you want to answer inside your journal or you want to write, Leave a comment right below. I can give you some examples of the prompts, right? If not, just follow the prompts that I have in the beginning. Make it simple. Start making a habit first, then improvise on it. Oh, by the way, I'm Andrew, and I share work productivity tips to help you grow your career. Now, if you're interested in these types of topic, remember, follow this channel for more. And if you like this video, just give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you real soon in my next video.